So this is just a quick video on how to make a link that you create in a WordPress site open in a new tab. So very often we'll want to add links to our site and when you click on that link it'll just take you to somewhere else within that site. But let's say we want to keep this page open. They're reading something about me and I want to have a link for them to go to. Video of kittens playing on YouTube and I click it and it opens in the same window. That's not really useful. Um, but what I can do is I can make it so that when they click on a link, it opens in a new tab. And that way when they're done looking at that, they exit out of it and they're still on your site and they can continue on. It's a better user experience and also keeps people on the site longer. So how do we do that? We want to go into the add new post section and we will go into the dashboard, the WordPress dashboard, we'll go to post, add new. And then we'll start to create whatever our anchor text is. So let's say we want to say, click this link to see something cool. And this link is our anchor text. So over here is your insert edit link button for the WYSIWYG editor, the what you see is what you get editor. And right now it's not highlighted, it's grayed out. But as soon as we highlight what we want the link to be, this link, this anchor text, it becomes visible and clickable. And you can click it anyway, but it's better to do it with the anchor text. It just kind of automatically does it for you. So let's put in our destination URL as marketleaner.com. <clears throat> and let's make sure that open link in a new window tab is checked. So when we check that off, what that's going to do is it's going to inject another parameter into the link tag, the A tag. So let's add that link. And then you can go over to the text version. You can see that it injected this target equals quote underscore blank end quote into our A tag. So let's preview it to see if it works. Click this link to see something cool. So we click it and you can see it opens in a new tab. Okay. The other thing that if you want to do this manually, and if you ever forget how to do it or, or what this, you know, because it's not super intuitive that there's an underscore here. If you want to, you know, always be able to check this out, you can always just create a link, check that box off, and then you can go over to the text version and see how it creates it. Because essentially we're just creating our ahref. This is our link. This is our destination URL our anchor text, and then we're just inserting within the opening tag, target equals underscore blank in quotes, like all parameters should be. Okay.